Hi there, it's Marcus from Mars Music, along with my synth buddy. I'm Adam from Mars Music. Who's also the drone guy. Kind of weird, but you never know, right? Synthesizers is where everybody can meet. Yeah. Except for my fingers, apparently, the first time. <laughs> what have we got today? Uh, so we've got a Korg product. This is the ARP 2600M. So it's Korg's recreation of the classic, classic ARP 2600 synthesizer, but the M version. So this is miniaturized a little bit. Yeah. And uh, so it's affordable, but it's still made in Japan. And uh, I think this is a chance to own one of these classic, classic, timeless synthesizers at a reasonable size, reasonable price, modern quality control and construction, and also some modern interfacing. This is really one of the all-time classic synths. Yeah. Even if you haven't ever specifically heard it, you have heard it on so many albums. Yeah. Well, without further ado, we got our matching Korg shirts to mark this occasion. Let's open the ARP 2600M. Knife ready? Yep. Here we go. Uh, 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 not so fast there, knife man. Take a look at the box. That is too much. Dial it back. Here we go. Here we go. And anytime. We are ready. Beautiful. We cut across the back here. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Gonna open this one. Oh, so what is inside here? Aha. This is a box. A very nice within bag. Within a box. Here we go. All right, here, let's check it out. So this is not only a beautiful synthesizer, but the way it comes is really a treat. Okay. That is nicer than the uh, last piece of luggage I bought, I think. <laughs> Wonder if this meets carry-on restrictions. No, I don't think so. Definitely bigger than carry-on and when you think that this is the reduced size over the original arp you start to get a sense of just how big the arps were you sure this isn't luggage <laughs> well, it's uh oh wow look at very that very nice beautiful very nice, very nice wheels yeah that is absolutely Really nice bag. That is gorgeous, yeah. Look at that. That is a very nice case. Yeah. You've even got the little handle. Okay. Well, zipper time. All right. If you'll do the honors on the other side, please, sir. Open it up. Yeah, this really is a one of a kind presentation. And. Look at that. Wow. Just absolutely beautiful. And uh, we're gonna get this standing up and get a closer look at this bad boy. What else is in the box, Al? All right, so we've got some yep. manuals here, some stickers, which is kind of nice. Perfect, and what is underneath? So underneath, let's have a look. Ah, we've got the power supply, AC cable, and some nice patch cables to get them started, and this mystery space, which would be for... Probably for a keyboard, right? Yep, exactly. Yeah. You can get one of the Korg micro keys that'll plug right into this and take it with you. Awesome. All right, time to flip it around. Brilliant. That is quite a few uh, controls there. Yeah, a lot of options. Absolutely. So we'll start with the side here, and uh, what you've got is a mode switch, the left and right output, the MIDI in, USB MIDI controller, dedicated spot, and then a standard USB port as well, as well as the power supply. But for the rest of it, it is all the goodness that you would expect out of an ARP 2600, but condensed into a manageable size, but it is still a good size piece. And uh, what do you think of the feeling of the, the faders? It's pretty solid. Yeah, it feels really smooth. You know, the one pot also feels really nice. They don't, they don't feel like they're going to break easily, which is nice. Yeah, smooth, long life, 
And yeah, for people who are used to seeing primarily knobs, that is not the way uh, ARP stuff is. You'll think of the Odyssey as well. You've got a lot of things on slide controls, and that gives the experience of using the synthesizer along with the patch points its own completely unique thing. What's an ARP 2600 like? Well, it's like an ARP 2600. <laughs> it's just awesome. Well, let's wrap it up. We are going to do a sound video, but it's going to take us uh, probably a few hours to get into it and to come up with something presentable. But that's really part of the fun, this kind of mad scientist uh, feeling that you're going to have trying to get this going. Oh, what did you think, Adam? Pretty cool. Yeah, feels great. Beautiful metal construction. All the controls feel good. It really has that classic style yep. uh, without the size and without the vintage price tag. And like I said, we found that Korg had a few more. We had quite a few come in and uh, we're going to share this with you just in case somebody out there is like, oh wow, I didn't realize there were still some of these made in Japan ARP 2600Ms from Korg available. We have a few more available and uh, all I can say is what a synth. What a presentation. It's beautiful in the suitcase. And, Wonderful. Uh, and uh, no, Adam, you may not buy the last couple. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm Marcus from Mars Music. Thanks so much again for joining us. And I'm Adam. See you again soon for another unboxing.